I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that most of you watching this are probably using some sort of HDMI cable to do so. And well, we just had some details about HDMI 2.1 in a new press release. The new spec will be able to handle higher refresh rates and resolutions such as 8K at 60Hz and 4K at 120Hz, but wait, there's more. It's going to have dynamic HDR, which for those of you perhaps making use of the PS4 Pro's HDR features, means that you don't have to tweak every single game or film on the go. And we're also going to be having variable refresh rates brought to TVs in something called Game Mode VRR. Now this has really interesting implications if you are a console gamer or do enjoy occasionally gaming on a console. Say for example the Scorpio supported HDMI 2.1, then you could have a sort of FreeSync-esque type of setup available for consoles. Which is definitely interesting when of course you're talking about a console that Microsoft is very much touting as being able to hit 60 frames per second. Having that variable refresh rate on a console game could definitely bring something quite interesting to the table. Now, the new 48G cables will also enable, you guessed it, 48G GBPS bandwidth for uncompressed HDMI 2.1. Now, we also have a bit of a comment here from Robert Blanchard of Sony, president of the HDMI forum, and he said, quote, This news release of the specification offers a broad range of advanced features for enhancing the consumer entertainment experience as well as providing robust solutions to the commercial AV sector. This is part of the HDMI forum's continuing mission to develop specifications for the HDMI ecosystem that meet the growing demand for compelling high performance and exciting features. Now as well as everything that I've already gone through, such as the higher video resolutions, dynamic HDR, the 48GB feature, and of course the refresh rate, variable uh, refresh rate thing, we also have EARC, which is supporting advanced audio formats such as object-based audio, and enables advanced audio signal control capabilities including device auto-detect. Now to go into a bit more detail about the game mode VRR, which is that refresh rate thing I just mentioned a second ago, it enables a 3D graphics processor to display the image at the moment it is rendered for more fluid and better detailed gameplay and also helps to eliminate things such as lag, stutter and the very, very present and very annoying frame tearing. For those of you wondering, this particular HDMI 2.1 cable is backwards compatible and can be used with existing HDMI devices. So as I said, while none of that's going to set the world on fire, I find the implications for console gaming really, really interesting. However, it is important to know that it is technically possible that Microsoft wouldn't be able to do that with the Scorpio, I mean, but according to comments from the well-known industry insider Shinobi602, Microsoft hasn't even sent out real Scorpio dev kits to developers and publishers such as the mighty EA, which probably means that very very few if anybody has actually got on their hands on a Scorpio dev kit yet, which possibly means they're still working on it, which of course could mean that HDMI 2.1 could be included and we could see some interesting capabilities with that variable refresh rate. Of course, we're going to have to wait and see what happens with the Scorpio, but for now that is me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.